everyone and welcome back to the Acne channel. My name is Brandon Marshall if you are new here and I am one of the Banish Warriors for Banish. <laughs> I like, honestly I hope at the, this point you guys just kind of like get my personality and that I'm a little bit awkward and I'm, I'm hoping that some of you can at least relate maybe. So in this video today I am kind of addressing something um, that is I feel like not as talked about. I think my perception at this point is I really want to kind of speak out, speak about the different stigmas when it comes to acne and kind of the things that come along with acne because we know that with acne it's, it comes with a lot of appearance things but it also comes with a lot of internal things as well and I think that's not things that are like talked about a whole lot. There's another video that we recently posted on the acne channel about um, kind of the correlation of dating and acne, so that can be like self-esteem, um, that kind of thing. But I also want to kind of dig into um, mental health and acne and kind of the effects that acne can have on your mental health because there's a correlation, there's definitely a correlation, it is proven, there's so many things, I've talked to my therapist about it, and I just kind of want to dig deeper into that. Because I feel like some people might feel like they're alone or that they're the only ones suffering from depression because it could potentially be correlated to their acne and that is not the case at all so that's why I said I want to speak on these types of topics just to kind of like put it out there and let you know that you're not alone like I've been through so much I've suffered with acne for so long and there is so many different things in your life that it can affect and things that you wouldn't think it would affect can it can definitely affect as well so just want to point those out and just kind of talk about them with you guys so I'm not really going to give a background on my skin because I feel like some videos I kind of do that and at this point I have had quite a, like, quite a few videos on this channel so I don't really want to go into a lot of backstory but um, I just kind of wanted to go through a little bit of my, um, just kind of like my mental health and the things that I've been through and that kind of I didn't realize for a long time and that my therapist kind of opened up this like kind of like image, different way of looking at things. Um, and just kind of about my past traumas, and I know trauma is like a very weird, maybe stigmatized word. Um, trauma can be a lot of different things, and it was always kind of a scary word to me, but my therapist kind of let me look at the word trauma in a different perspective. So, I mean, as we all may know, not everyone suffers from acne, but it is a common thing. It is definitely a common thing, um, and... It's also something that when you do suffer from acne, it is something that you, it's one of those insecurities that you just pick yourself apart and it's really hard not to. And that's the thing with all insecurities, I feel like, whether it be body image or anything like that, it is definitely, insecurities can eat at your self-esteem and you might feel self-conscious and I've been there, I've been through that, I'm still going through that. I recently broke out a little bit and kind of like being on camera a little bit right now, I'm just kind of like a little iffy because I mean, we don't, I feel like it's a never-ending thing to try to love yourself and like sometimes we do have those days where we don't want to be seen or we just our insecurities just kind of get the best of us and today I'm kind of like like I have like a hormonal acne on my right here which I haven't had in a long time and I'm like I don't know like it, it's just kind of like brings back that trauma like that's just I used to get really bad hormonal acne it kind of in my mind relates back to like oh I used to have that but now I'm like you know what I want to show you guys, I am a banish warrior. I go through this, these things. I do not have perfect skin by any means. Like, look at my skin. My skin is has came so long, but it is just a ever working like thing. Like, I strive for I strive for perfection. Am I ever gonna get perfection? No, perfection honestly really doesn't exist. So it's it's like one of those things. I even, um, I'm kind of going off on a tangent, but if you do follow Banish on Instagram, Daisy, the CEO of Banish, she does go on live sometimes. And the other day, I just hopped in one of her lives and, and I was actually at work. I was just kind of having like an off day and the message that she was saying just kind of like spoke to me and just kind of gave me like a good perspective. She was saying how sometimes she feels like she's too hard on herself and she wants to be this perfectionist and like wants to be perfect and like in in a sense it's exhausting and it's honestly not achievable so she's like I need essentially take a step back think about where I'm going what I want to do and just realize that she's not perfect and that she's accomplished so many things she 
she wants to accomplish more, but it is definitely something that takes time, it takes stepping stones to get to that place. Um, I don't know, it just really like spoke to me and she even pointed out one thing she said, this is like, I was like, wow, like I never thought about it like that. She told me the one day she was at the airport and she was thinking to herself, she's like, when was the last time I saw somebody with acne? Because she has, she has a skincare company, that's what she does, she works with acne and scars and different types of things and she's like I thought to myself when was the last time I saw somebody with acne and she couldn't remember she's like that is how like minuscule it it is to her like seeing someone with acne is like when she sees somebody else with it she doesn't she's not like oh my gosh that person has acne take note like in her brain it's more of one of those things that you're very hard on yourself and you kind of look in the mirror and pick yourself apart but in reality if I saw you and you had acne I'm not gonna remember I'm gonna remember the conversation we had I'm gonna remember your, the attitude your attitude that you have your positive outlook on life I'm gonna remember those types of things about you and not the fact that you had acne like I don't know just something about that kind of was like oh like I wish I would have heard that a long time ago because like I know that's true but like hearing it from someone like Daisy who even has this kind of company and deals with these things and sees all these different like progress pictures and everything like it's just I don't know it's just really nice to hear so yes I know we kind of went on a little tangent which I tend to do but it still kind of loops into the whole um, self-esteem thing and depression anxiety I do suffer from depression and anxiety which I do talk about on my channel sometimes and I think I've talked about it a little bit on this channel as well and I'm not saying all of it is stemmed from my acne and past trauma with acne but honestly I would say a lot of it is because I mean I mean, some people have bad childhoods and stuff that's linked to that, and sometimes it's just, it just happens, anxiety happens, and I, I do have a lot of social anxiety, and I do have um, depression, and I know that it definitely stems a lot from um, my experience with acne and just kind of how I viewed myself and kind of how it has affected me over the past seven or eight years, and having acne for so long is... It, really takes a toll on your mind and how you look at yourself and I'm definitely recovering from that. I, I started seeing a therapist a while ago and just kind of like looking at that and bringing up things and talking about them it definitely helped me. Um, I'm not saying that medication is always the way to go but I did recently um, actually start on an anxiety and depression med and it's helped me tremendously. I'm not I'm really not gonna lie. Um, I did start on 10 milligrams of Lexapro, and this is an anxiety and depression med. There are some side effects for it, especially if you don't take it all the time. You can have a little bit of withdrawal, which kind of scared me at first, and there's a couple times when I forgot to take it, and it, it, it just, your body kind of like, you get shocked a little bit. That's, anyway, you can do some research on it, that medicine, but I did start on 10 milligrams of that, and I was honestly feeling better, and I think even seeing my therapist, I like, I started to want to go do things and want to hang out with people and not want to cancel my plans all the time because I had a really bad habit of canceling plans because I would get really anxious or really depressed and just feel like I don't want to leave my room, I don't want anyone to see me, and that's just not how I want to live my life, especially when life is so short and we're here for such a short amount of time, and in my 25 years I've realized that life isn't honestly about making connections, life is about family and friends, the people that you come across, the people that you might see one time but change your perspective on something, or the positivity you might get from the person at the gas station that was just super nice to you and just kind of changes your perspective on the day. Like, I, I want to have those interactions. I, I don't want to not want to have those interactions. I don't want to have to sit in my room all the time and just starve myself of that type of interaction. And that is part of the reason that I chose to see a therapist and part of the reason that I mentioned possibly some type of medication. Um, they did double my dose. I am on 20 milligrams now, which I believe is like 10 is the starter. I think 20 is maybe the highest. I'm not really sure. Um, but it's honestly, I feel like one of the best things that I've done, like that I've started and I don't know, I just feel, I feel really good. And like I said, medication is not for everybody, but therapy, even checking out therapy first, that is what I did. I went to therapy first. I checked it out. I talked to my therapist. Um, and I, I just want that, like, that small stigma of 
oh, it's just acne, like that, it's just acne, it just affects your skin. No, it, it affects you, it affects you as a person, it affects your self-esteem, it affects your mind, it affects so many different things, and you're not alone, you're really not alone, and like I said, I've struggled with acne for so long, in that, like, even talking about it kind of like chokes me up a little bit, but it, I struggled with it for so long, and there's so many people out there that they're probably sitting in the room and not wanting to do anything, and I don't want people to let their skin stop them from doing things because I let I let my skin stop me from doing so many things that I wish I would have done. And going forward, I do not want that to happen again. I don't want to go there again. I'm not going to go there again. I mean, I do. We all have our days. We all have our days where I'm going to sit in my room. I'm not. I'm not going to talk to anybody. I'm not. I might not even reply to my text messages. I just because I need those days to myself. But I also love spending time with people because I guess kind of the point of this video is just to say you're not alone and things like this happen and things like that happen and it is okay to accept the fact that acne might be having taking effect on your mental health and if any of you have any questions about therapy or finding a therapist or medications or anything I am here you can message me on Instagram you can message me here you can comment here I'm always willing to help anybody I want everybody to be happy I want everyone to be happy like yeah I hope that kind of like maybe open your mind to things or maybe even just one person made you feel like you're not alone that is what I essentially want to do that is why I'm trying to get my message out there um but yeah my Instagram link is down below and I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys